Antimicrobial resistance is a global crisis. The problem of antimicrobial resistance has reached alarming levels. Extensively drug resistance to tuberculosis has been identified in 105 countries. This is Armageddon. This is the end of our current regime of, of antibiotics. If we don't do something about antimicrobial resistance, in another 35 years, there could be 10 million, 10 million people a year dying. We can see it coming. We have used up what we've got. We're running out of time. There's no country that is immune from this. You know, this is a global concern. Percentage of death is increasing day by day. They tested my blood. My blood results came back. I saw a whole series of bacteria that were very resistant, basically resistant to all the drugs that were tested for. The meaning of life is survival. I just love being alive. Being so close to death makes you appreciate everything. All along, from the very beginning of the antibiotic era, there's been this parallel story of misusing antibiotics in agriculture of giving antibiotics to animals that are not sick, that do not need them. It's a very competitive business. It's a margin business. It's truly shocking. It's a fabrication. It shows very vividly the power of the business lobby. If a bug becomes resistant in animals, that it will be able to be transmitted to people. This is a matter of scientific certainty. When do you decide it's time to act? The policymakers only move when the tsunami is there. And I do worry about that. I lose sleep about it. It's important to not walk away from the battlefield. If we truly lost all our antibiotics, it would be a bomb blowing up our healthcare systems around the world.